What's up YouTube, Daniel Carter at Afro Herb Keeper here. I'm uh, really pumped right now because I just came out in the woods to collect some mulch for my millipedes. And I'm, I'm a few feet from the road and I looked straight down. I almost stepped right past this. Right here, less than a foot from where I was stepping, a lifer baby eastern hognose snake. Eastern hognose are a species, obviously, of hognose snake. Their main diet is amphibians, like frogs and toads, which makes sense because we've been getting a lot of rain recently, so there's an abundance of those right now, which would explain why one of their predators is out and about. Um, I have seen a number of these posted in local community uh, groups on Facebook recently. I am just, wow overwhelmed to see this guy and he's in situ I haven't touched him yet I'm probably about to pick him up but wow gorgeous animal and this guy he's only about a foot long he's still very small wow I am just pumped to see him look at that look at that little face and you can see why they're called a hog nose they've got that gorgeous little upturned snout that is adorable now these guys are rear fanged venomous, but they're not medically significant to humans, which means there's no harm in touching them. What a gorgeous snake. Look at him. Oh, I'm excited. I don't want this animal to get away. I do have a container with me, so I'm gonna set him in there for a moment. If he'll let me. Now, this is really an incredible snake, and through this, he hasn't even tried to bite me once. Um, Hognoses, as a whole, are known for being uh, really the, the bluffs of the snake world. They have a bunch of different defense mechanisms, but really, they're completely harmless. Uh, these guys, among other things, they'll play dead, they will roll over on their backs, open their mouths, and just writhe around like they're in death throes. That's a means of defense against predators, because predators are much less likely to eat a snake that looks sickly or is dying, um, as opposed to a healthy live snake. In addition, they're known for um, putting on a display that's really reminiscent of cobras. Um, what these guys will do, uh, and unfortunately it gets them killed a lot of the time, because people who don't know what they are, uh, it makes them look much more dangerous than they actually are. What they'll do is they will coil themselves up, they will uh, sort of slither around in a menacing way, and they will flatten their necks, they'll start hissing really loud, and they'll puff themselves up like a balloon. And that whole display just makes them look a lot larger and a lot more threatening. What a beautiful animal. I am just in awe at this little guy. This is not what I was expecting to find in the woods today. Goes to show, uh, anytime you're looking for snakes, you're never gonna find one. Anytime you're not looking for them, they will pop up all over the place. That's been my experience in the past. He's all sorts of drab brown colors, but still, it's, it's a uh, gorgeous pattern nonetheless. If you're familiar with the look of cottonmouths or copperheads or diamondback rattlesnakes, you'll see that this snake has a sort of a triangular head and a very similar blotched pattern on its sides. And unfortunately, that along with their cobra-like defense mechanism gets them killed a lot of times because uh, People who aren't very experienced with snakes or reptiles in general will often misidentify them or just kill them just to be on the safe side. And I want to stress that, as always, that's completely unnecessary. No snake species will ever go after a human. They want nothing to do with us, um, and they're much more afraid of us than we are of them. If you see a snake in the wild and you're not sure what it is or you know it's venomous, really the best thing to do is just to turn around and walk away. If you do that, there's no chance the snake will come after you. The snake wants nothing to do with you. It'll keep going. Snakes don't really stay in one place very long. They like to uh, continue exploring, expanding their range to search for prey. And that search for prey is just about the best reason to keep them around. Because the majority of snakes are eating pest animals, vectors of disease like mice and rats, voles, rodents, things like that. These guys do eat primarily amphibians, but Nonetheless, a beautiful, beneficial snake to have around. 
Man, I am really just chalking it down to uh, good timing and incredible luck finding this guy. I'm walking this guy back to my house to keep him temporarily and probably get some better pictures. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like to let me know. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you're brand new to the channel and this is your first time seeing me, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more reptile related content in the future. Thanks for watching. Thank you.